Hey, Green Tech Zania, aka Fusion Predator, coming out with another tutorial. Um, yeah, um, this tutorial, as you can probably tell from the um, in some title, this is on how to how I approach the lighting and adding light sh um, shadows and reflections onto my project, and it's pretty simple. And it comes up with a pretty cool effect. So let's just start by putting um, text. Um, some text. Put that in the middle because I'm in the habit of doing that. And oh, sorry about that. And then just add a light. Um, then add an array. That button right here. Drag the light into the array. And go to array. Make that three. It will then make it four. I don't know fine. Go to um, intensity in the light. Make that fifty. Then put shadow mask star. Make that um, move the array up. Go about right there. Then put a floor. And put a sky, and uh, when I run this out, please hold on to your hat, guys, because this is going to be really awesome. It'll have a pretty awesome effect. So I'm going to get that out, and baboon as some nice shadows. Um, the nice shadows here. And an overall good look. Um, that is uh, that's one way of lighting your image, and another way. Um, that's one way I light my images, but now I'm just gonna do all that. And now, um, add back the floor, and now go to project setting, go to effect. Ambulant inclusion, then go back to effect and put global illumination. Okay, now go here, um, double click here, and then double click here on the box that I made. And like, oh, go to reflections, texture, frenzy, um, make that 50, make this 50. So here, and let's put it wherever you want. Just in the location right now, and fail. I I didn't fail. It should be working. Whatever. Drag that there, and when I render that out, it will take a little while. Oh wait. I forgot one thing. Hmm, it's probably gonna end up being black. Still black. I don't know why. Hmm, do I forget that? Oh yeah. I'll just let render and see. Yeah, I know I do. I've got to put luminance. Just click luminance. Make sure that's the same color as your color. Um, my thing is lagging like crazy. Okay, apparently this texture. Okay, so color. Make that blue. Mm. 
Now, they will give it a more um, darker look, and but it will have, um, depending on what you're going for, um, the original first one is for a bright look, and this is for a dark look. I actually did use this look for my top five countdown, um, for the number five, yeah, I actually did use, well, not exactly, but something very similar to this. It gives a nice effect. Once again, rendering you will see what I'm talking about. Okay. Oh, wow. Now, you see um, right here, it has some nice reflections along right here, um, some nice shadows. And right along the floor, there's a glow actually being emitted from the tech because of the texture we made. And it does come out pretty good. I actually wish that um, I can actually vary the colors, but um, there's only so much you can do. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, a tutorial, a tutorial, I'll try to come out with a tutorial um, by Wednesday or Thursday. So look forward to that. Uh let's let this render out so you can see what I mean. Mm, it's almost done. Okay. Um yeah. So the first one the light um the light part and the second one is the darker version. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more intros, backgrounds, and tutorials.